Hello again, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. A lot of customers who purchase our stamp managed program also go on to buy a, a program called Lineup Stamp Search, which is used in conjunction with Stamp Manage. It can also be used by itself, by the way, and they do have a Macintosh version. Um, and it can be purchased for $19.95 for a full license, uh, very inexpensive. Matter of fact, we had a customer a couple weeks ago ask if it's $19.95 per stamp search, which uh, would be a bit expensive, but it's $19.95. For, for full use of the program for all 600,000 world stamps in the database and you can use it as much as you want for as many stamps as you want. So in Stamp Manage um, to do a simple lineup stamp search you just right mouse click on the image or the variety you want to look for. Select the lineup multi-site image search from the pop-up menu. You go ahead and do that and it takes the image, puts it in the program and it's going to do a search over many philatelic uh, websites on the internet. Now a new um, lineup released a new version I believe it was on February 27, 2015 and seems it seems a bit faster. Uh, looks like it, they made some other improvements as well. So we're almost done here. And there you go like a lot of nice results even like I've said previously even if the stamps part of a set of three it's also found even if the background is not good it's found even if the stamp is low quality as in this one here it's it's found it's a very powerful search engine so we've got some settings here um, pretty uh, nothing really major language that's obvious limit the output and the timeout um, it's how long it's gonna wait before it um, where it gives up searching for a stamp, I believe. Another feature they have is a paste from clipboard. So I've got in Microsoft Paint an image of another United States stamp. I'm going to right mouse click on it, say copy to the clipboard. Then here I can just right mouse click and select paste. And I can go ahead and change the, uh, the crop of the image. And what this does is basically tell the program exactly what you want to search for. If you have trouble finding a stamp using uh, the whole image, you can um, just zero in on the design, change the crop so you just zero in on, in on the design of the stamp and that usually makes uh, better for better results. So we're going to go ahead and search for that. You notice here is the license is for United States stamps. That's the free version. Uh, the version with the 600,000 stamp world database uh, would cost them $19.95. I believe the U.S. stamp version is free. So we're almost done here. Um, now, I notice uh, the results here. Besides the usual suspects, eBay, Callnect, you've also got some new ones here, CollectibleStampsGallery.com. I haven't seen that one before. Um, so somewhere on this, somewhere on this page is the stamp we're looking for. U USPS Stamps, Pinterest.com, and <laughs> you can even uh, purchase the stamp as a stock photo if, if you want. If you want, I believe uh, they've got a whole bunch of stamps here. It's probably down at the bottom somewhere. Um, yeah, there it is right there so the last thing I'm going to show you is the webcam feature now when I first saw this I was a bit skeptical uh, but I tried it and it seems to be pretty good so what we're going to do is select webcam and I'm going to hold up a stamp here Select the take some blue. I 
selected the capture, the, first, the start button and the capture button. It took a while to uh, get it uh, lined up properly. Um, now, I'm using a laptop camera and webcam. And if you're going to be doing this a lot, you're obviously going get, to get one of the webcams where you can actually uh, uh, remove the web, you know, the webcams just attached to the USB port and you can remove it and uh, maybe put the stamp on a flat surface and hover, hover the webcam above it or something like that. So last button is apply. And what we do here is we just crop into the actual image itself. The stamp's a little bit crooked, so we'll see what happens. And now we're going to select s search. Oh, looks like it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's even though the image is not that great and is a bit crooked. I was holding up to a webcam it still found some really nice results here so um, and yeah this is it this is the stamp I was looking at I believe yeah so it's got number 4125 it's a great way to identify stamps anyways um, I, think, I think that's about enough for today um, thanks for watching and um, if you have any questions about Stamp Manage, uh, I'll be happy to address them on a video or in an email or whatever. Okay, thank you. Take care.